Today's topic is convergence of filters. We start with two definitions. Definition 1 is let F be a filter on a non-empty set X and let A be a subset of X. Then F is said to be eventually in A if and only if A belongs to F. That is, if any subset A of X belongs to filter F, then we say that filter is eventually in set A. Now, the second definition is a filter F is said to be frequently in a subset A of a non-empty set X if and only if A intersects every member of F. That is, A intersection F is non-empty for every F in filter F. Now, we have two remarks. Remark 1 is, if a filter F is eventually in A, then it is also frequently in A. Why? Because if A belongs to F, then it intersects every member of F. Why? Because we know that any intersection of any two members of F is non-empty. And so, um, A intersects, if A belongs to F, then A intersects every member of F and so F is frequently in A. And now the second remark is, a filter F on X is frequently in A if and only if there exists a filter on X finer than F containing A. We have proved this result earlier that if um, any subset of X intersects every member of a filter F, then uh, um, there exists a filter finer than that filter containing that set. First, we define convergence of a filter. Let XT be a topological space and let F be a filter on X. Then, F is said to converge at a point X belongs to X if and only if F is eventually in each neighborhood of X. And we know that F is eventually in each neighborhood of X means each neighborhood of X belongs to F. That is, each neighborhood of X is a member of F. So, we can say that F converges to point X if and only if each neighborhood of X is a member of F. And since we know that the collection of all neighborhoods of X um, is itself a filter on X, and so we can say that F converges to a point X if and only if the neighborhood filter at X is contained in filter F. If Xc is a topological space and filter F on X converges to point X, then we say that X is a limit point of filter F. And we write F converges to X. Now we shall discuss an example. Let X consist of three points A, B and C. And let T be a topology on X consist of Empty set, singleton set A, doubleton uh, containing A and B, and the whole set X. And let F be a filter on X consists of singleton B, doubleton A, B, doubleton B, C, and whole set X. Then to find limit points of F, first we have to find neighborhoods of points A, B, and C. The collection of all neighborhoods of A, that is N of A, consists of four members, singleton A, sing, doubleton AB, doubleton AC, and the set X. The collection of all neighborhoods of P, that is N of P, consists of two members, doubleton AB and the whole set X. And the collection of all neighborhoods of C, that is N of C, consists of only one member, that is the whole set X. We observe that N of B is contained in F and N of C is also contained in F. But N of A is not contained in F. 
and so f is eventually in each neighborhood of b and c but f is not eventually in two neighborhoods singleton a and doubleton ac of point a consequently f converges to points b and c hence b and c are limit points of filter f now i am giving you a home assignment let x be a set consists of three points a b and c and t be a topology on x given by empty set singleton a doubleton a b and the whole set x and f1 and f2 be filters on x f1 consists of four members singleton a doubleton a b doubleton a c and the whole set x and f2 consists of two members doubleton b c and whole set x then you have to find limit points of f1 and f2 now we shall discuss an example in a discrete topological space x t for each point x in x the neighborhood filter n of x converges to a unique point x because n of x consists of all neighborhoods of x and so it um, contains all neighborhoods of x and so we can say that n of x converges to point x and here we also note that for any y belongs to x different from x since singleton set containing y is a neighborhood of y and singleton y is uh, not a member of n of x and so we can say that n of x converges to a unique point x now we have a theorem which states that let x t be a topological space and let f be a filter on x then the following statements are equivalent statement a is f converges to a point x belongs to x statement b is each neighborhood of x belongs to filter f statement c is f is finer than the neighborhood filter n of x on x and statement d is for every neighborhood n of x there exists a member f of filter f such that f is contained in n let us prove this theorem first we shall show that a is equivalent to statement b let statement a hold that means f converges to a point of x as f converges to point x f is eventually in each neighborhood of x and so every neighborhood of x belongs to f hence we hold because we want to show that each neighborhood of x belongs to f and so uh, we have shown that is f is eventually in each neighborhood of x means every neighborhood of x belongs to f hence b holds let b hold that is each neighborhood of x belongs to f then we have to show that f converges to point x as each neighborhood of x belongs to f so f is eventually in each neighborhood of x and so f converges to point x hence a holds next we show that b and c statements are equivalent let b hold means f contains each neighborhood of x as each neighborhood of x belongs to f so the collection of all neighborhoods of x that is n of x is contained in f that is f is finer than filter neighborhood filter n of x hence c holds conversely let c hold as n of x is contained in filter f so each neighborhood of x belongs to f hence b holds 
So we have proved that B and C statements are equivalent. Now we show that statements B and D are also equivalent. Let B whole, that is F contains all neighborhoods of X. As for each neighborhood N of X, N belongs to F and so N must be a superset of some member of F. And so there exists some member F of filter F such that F is contained in N. Hence, D whole. Conversely, let D whole. As for each neighborhood N of X, there exists a member F of filter F such that F is contained in N. So, by definition of filter F, N belongs to F. Because F contains supersets of all of its members. And here, um, N is a superset of uh, its member F. So, N belongs to F. Thus, F contains each neighborhood of X. Hence, B holds. We have shown that all statements are equivalent to B, statement B. And so, all statements are equivalent. Thank you.